there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much for joining me. Today, we're going to be playing Raiders of the Broken Planet. So, yeah, uh, Raiders of the Broken Planet was actually out in beta a fair while ago. We did do some video footage. We played it live on stream. I don't know if I did. I do a video on the channel. I know at least I did one on the VidMe. I don't know if I actually... I think it might have been... Uh, I wasn't allowed to put one on the YouTube at the time. But, yeah, Raiders of the Broken Planet was... A, it's a sh third person shoot em up uh, that plays a lot like Bloodborne. Now, don't let that put you off because Bloodborne's a good game. It's actually a very good game. It's just, I got my phone out of it and then I stopped playing it. But um, really in a context of Overwatch being in this world and something like Fortnite being around and uh, trying to release a game like this, you gotta really have a USP. You have to have a unique selling point. And to be honest, I actually like the sci-fi content of this. Uh, the raiders that they refer to are, of course, mercenaries that actually are raiding a broken planet. They're actually trying to take back over and take everything they can. You can play on two sides, and it's got this asynchronous gameplay where you play 4v1, where four people are on a team, and there is a bunch of uh, enemies that are popping up and spawning anyway. But then there's one player who's on the adversary side, and they are tend to be actually like you get a you get a really good boost. You actually have a lot of enemy troops on your side that are actually attacking, and your job is to help hold back the flow to be the one hero on the opponent's side that's actually going to be resisting all of the heroes on the player's side. And I like that concept. It's, it's like, it takes on that Evolve field to do. It puts it in with a um, hub kind of co-op world context where you're playing level after level. It means that you don't have to find, you need, you need four. If you want to play in a team together, you need four. But if you want to play solo, you can always fuck with another team. I like that concept. It's like, the, it's, there's a dickery level in this that actually is very well put together. But uh, I don't know what it's been like. I, I, whenever I played the beta, there was connection issues. I was having problems finding a match. Obviously, being a beta, there's a lot less players. But this is the open prologue that is now available before it goes out to the public. So let's take a look at Raiders of the Broken Planet. Oh! <laughs> Need that for a thumbnail. All right. Mercury Steam. Is there mercury is liquid at room temperature? What, what, what temperature does mercury start to boil at? Huh. Also, do not ever let me inhale mercury steam. I do not want to. Do not desire it in any way, shape, or form. Uh, okay, agreement. Yeah, yeah, well. Let me agree to a thing that I've already agreed to whenever I did the um, beta. Initiating session. Grapple, strike, interact, jump. Grapple, strike. Okay. That's right. I remember this now. So this is the intro -y part of the prologue. So this kind of like this, it starts off with you being solo on your own and you have to kind of make it through a section. You kind of, there's a jumpy bit. What are you doing? Noah. Chill out, man. You throwing in your channel into the chat? You lucky I don't have the, uh, the ban hammer put on it? Raiders of the Broken Planet. Is this just like a loading screen? Oh, it's actually holding on that screen until it actually starts. Intentionally, we have an adventure to begin. This is exactly like the mission that I, play, I played in the beta. 2267 AD. Lyra constellation, 25 light years from Earth. Broken Planet. Sole source of Aleph, matter in the universe. Just bought a sticker? Something generated by the planet itself alters the physiology of carbon based life forms, replaces any known energy source, enables instantaneous interstellar travel. Raiders in search of Aleph have occupied the broken planet for years. Today the factions are facing off, facing each other to the death. All right, the, of course, like typical kind of like sci-fi adventish kind of content. Adventish, adventish, adventurish. Here's the blimp. Word salad. There is little local resistance, only a few led by Herrick. By the human invaders. Herrick is looking for fighters who are willing to join him, no matter what side they're on. All right, so this is actually, it is a kind of protection, like bringing the raiders together. 
Yeah, this is exactly the same dude that we completed with previously. This is the place. If our intel is correct, they've got what you're looking for there. I'll stay within transmission distance. And that's the context for how you actually survive after you die. They teleport you in and out, so you get transmitted. <laughs> Oh, is it actually purposely making me, uh, it's made me play tutorial style too? Which is annoying, but I mean, essentially, understandable because it really is a tutorial of the game. And. Huh! And I barely made that jump. <laughs> I'm detecting activity nearby. Be careful, gringo. Okay. Is there anybody nearby? The radar reveals an approaching prison ship. I think they're trying to transfer the target. Oh, there we go. The, the, they haven't changed this intro bit at all, so obviously they, there was no reason to, really, because it is a tutorial section. But, um... It does seem to actually just drop you straight into the context. I suggest fighting this enemy. Now eliminate him in a brawl. You can use the ammo you'll take from him. All right, so go up and grapple. According to the maps, you need to go in through the main door. The guards are pretty dumb, but they won't open unless they can't see you anymore. Okay. In that position, you're out of range of their cameras. Stay there for a little bit. It's me. I can't see him. I think we've scared him off. Oh yeah, Let's I think so. They're all yours, and they've left the door open. Watanabe Ken? Was that what? These just Ken Watanabe, they just like, kicked in the face? Alright, fair enough. So I'm assuming these are actually people who supported the game maybe in the early days. They actually all got their names in the tutorial. Remember, a personal device injects Olive into the warrior's nervous system, suppressing stress and improving concentration. As you can see, the Olive flow can be seen through walls. Olive flows into you as well. Use your olive meter to monitor its activity in your body and learn how to remain undetected. Okay. So essentially that's stopping me from being visibly seen. Where are you? Hmm. Where did you? There you go. <laughs> it feels good. It feels good. I mean, I haven't learned anything really from the game other than stalk and kill, stalk and kill. But um, it would be nice to maybe shoot a gun at one point, or it's on other context. I don't know. Maybe, maybe worthwhile. You know. Dude, why not? Why not show that combat? And that's obviously our first mission, is to get aboard that ship and release our friend. Now, uh, this is where it starts to get into the multiplayer content of Raider of Broken Planet, because it'll be a four-man team, you know. Four-man team in. 
Gotta get in there, we gotta see the guy before he gets destroyed. But dude, like, I mean, why, do they really need to put Shiggy Cam in? Like, why? Well, where is he? They take it in. Gather the team, change of plans. Okie dokie. <laughs> I do not care. We will do it. Okie dokie. I'm gonna actually turn down the audio on the game a little time bit because it might be overpowering me a tiny touch. Uh, there we go. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of gunfighting going on here. So kinda got the controls. <laughs> like, it didn't really give me much of a context. That, that is a t it's a terrible tutorial because it kinda talks about concepts that are not explained and gives you makes you use one single skill. Um, if they were going to do a tutorial mission, I'd rather they did it as a one that had properly taught you a bunch of stuff, rather than actually doing something that was just literally throws you in. There you go. Right, so they want you to buy. Right, so this is what they're doing. They're giving away a prologue, which is the first couple of missions free. This is the full release of the game, and they want you to buy the expansions. They want you to buy the campaign stories. Interesting. That is an interesting way to play. That's an interesting way to get people into your game. Rather than actually making people pay up front for a full game, make them buy it as they, as they want to play it. So if you get played through the prologue, like, actually, I wouldn't mind seeing what the rest of the plot is. Here's seven bucks. Yeah, give me the next couple of missions. So it feels a lot closer to, say, uh, what do you call it? Uh, say, Hitman. Hitman episode season one. The way the Hitman season episodes were done. Because the game's going to be different each time you play through that level. But if you want more levels, then you're going to have to pay for the next pack. Hmm. I can get on board with this. I can get on board with this idea. Matchmaking. And then, of course, you've got different currencies. Uh, <laughs> that, that bottom one is probably going to be the paid one. Oh, no, there's the paid one there. So this, this is going to be something completely separate. Uh, gold and mercury points. Mercury points recruit new characters. They can also be recruited with gold. Yeah, so you can buy... Characters we got with gold, but of course it's going to be a much slower slog to get there. Mission available only in so So the literally... So whenever it says there's two missions, it's literally first round and hanging by a thread. That's the only two things that they actually do. They're showing that... This is, a, this is actually the only like multiplayer mission that you get on the prologue. And then that tiny, tiny little moment is all you get otherwise. Guys, if you're going to do a solo mission... Do a full solo mission to let people actually get into it because that's way too short. That's that contextually will break that will break people's attention. Like they'll not go like they'll not be interested in playing that otherwise. Uh, antagonist rank. Oh, so you have a separate one for each one of them. At least I'm still matchmaking. Let's take a look at the raiders that we can actually get from the beginning here. So we got Harrick and Shay. We've got Alicia, Lucius, Hans, and Constantine. Um. I'll probably be, I'll be playing Alicia whenever I go in here, but I'm just curious. Uh, can I get her? Not yet recruited. Yeah. Can I recruit her? Mm, no. All right. You'll be playing as a raider? That works for me. I accept this mission. Hanging by a thread. So the whole basic thing is for this mission is that the guy is actually uh, literally about to be dropped out of the ship to be dropped to his doom. And you have to actually complete it or rescue him before it actually gets to that context. Um, I've played this as an antagonist. I don't think I've ever actually... I don't think I completed it whenever I was playing beta as the Raiders. So, let's... Look, I'm looking forward to seeing what this is going to be like. Ah, It's a match got cancelled. God damn it. Right, so context-wise, you have to actually play through a certain part of the game... To be able to actually add these characters to your game. So um, in the beta I played part of the Alien Mist story. I played this mission and unlocked, unlocked Shay in my game. So um, in this you won't be able to do so because you have to actually, you have to actually like pay for that level. Which is a little bit odd. I mean, I suppose like the beta was trying to actually contextually see what people would work on work -wise, mechanically wise with the levels. To give you access to more stuff than you actually get in the full game. In the, in the base game. The prologue, I imagine, the best way to say it. You use Mercury Points to buy it. See, I prefer the Umber War Dog. It looks, I like the look of it instead. 
I like the look of the Umber War Dog costume. <coughs> Reborn looks pretty cool too. I, I want that. I want the Umber War Dog. So, sure, there's actually multiple weapons you unlock for each one of them, so it makes you want to go play through missions over and over again. The only thing is being able to get into the mission in the first place. So, while you're waiting for your match to start up, you can actually go in and take a look at a bunch of history. Wow. Yeah, a lot, a lot of history and a bunch of information about the characters. Oh, it even has like, specific ones about the characters, too. Sweet, that's useful. Mika, Dr. Kurzman, Ginevra. Boom, I'm ready to rock and roll. Come on. Other guys agree. There's always going to be that one person. Each raider stresses differently. Learn to manage stress to get the most out of your raiders. Okay, so imagine stress is probably like how much you're using your um, special abilities. So it's like, they're using weird terminology to actually just refer to cooldowns. Which, uh, I don't know, I mean, essentially they don't want to, they don't want to start it, they want to keep it in context, in reality for their game, but it's still kind of frustrating to sit and look at. It'll be you, I'm betting us. Okay. Starting the mission. <laughs> I'm excited to actually be playing this. Um, I can enjoy it. The enemy is keeping life oh no! Alive, and that they move him periodically to a new hideout. We were too late today. Like as die on. That crazy son of a thousand dingoes is on the planet. Yeah, you don't get to see the whole cutscene because I didn't hold down the button fast enough. But if you want to check out the full cutscene, it was available in the beta video that I did. This is more to show gameplay than anything else. Well, that's me ported in. I found Lycus. He's unconscious, hanging from a crane. You need to take him up to the bridge to retrieve him. I'm pirating the crane controls and the platform that leads to the deck. They'll never know. Trying to figure out where they are. Oh man! Oh! Did 
Did I actually lose two lives because I died and then fell? Ah, oh, this is not good. We are going to fail this mission. Surrounded by guys, got my ass handled me. Donald J. Anderson kicked my ass. You can't really take on more than one guy at a time, really. You have to kind of like pick your fights. start. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Since we made it on the next part of the mission, did we? Is that, is that the next part of the mission, or did we actually just, like, complete the mission? That's what the context is. I don't even know if this mission is actually complete. Alright, we're gonna hold the scene, because I haven't actually seen the ending of the scene before. Nice. I love the actual thing. <laughs> His property just like chained to all parts. Retrieving the package. You're not gonna just like break him out no, or you're just gonna keep him like tied up like that. <laughs> it's the fact that he's like, got a crotch cover as well. Okay. Boom. Sweet, so we're gonna have to try and blow up over them. Okay. There you go. Run to the next one. Ah! Oh. We got the situation fucking covered. Damn! Ah! I said you got pretty much like killed by the guy. Oh, one life remaining. Are you serious? Shit! Putting one of them down.
you, bitch! Actual tank died. <laughs> Damn! I was actually like surviving for a little while just to be able to make the contact, but that was a we got pushed back hard there. You can kill grunts forever, but we are not moving until you buy me time to hack the missiles. Just use the turrets against the gunships. <laughs> Tried my best to stay alive, but it wasn't gonna work. Did that one work? Sweet. Oh, they are getting pushed back? Dude!
Oh no, one reader left behind. That's uh, that's upsetting. Actually, I thought we'd actually done reasonably well there. Uh, so yeah, well, actually, that's uh, that was kind of surprising. The fact that I managed to make it as far as I did with that. <laughs> oh, feel bad. Feel bad for the dude that we have. Oh no, there he is. He's right here. Careful! There are elite soldiers in Are you there. dead? Are you gone? Away from them as fast as possible and overload the reactor. Gears are ready. Are you telling me where to go? I'll follow. Ow! 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 Did he port into me? Yeah, no, we're gonna feel this one because literally I ran, I ran straight into the guy and missed completely with my attack. Yeah, dude, be careful. You've got you've got a full minute to survive now on your own shit. <sighs> that is not fun. No. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> good luck. Thirty seconds. Keeps him back with his boom shield in some way, shape, or form. No! Oh! Yep! Did he survive? Oh, he knocked that guy down. 22 seconds! Holy crap, you know what the fuck you're doing, man! No, no, that's not good. Mission failed. Ah! That's frustrating. Alright, let's see how you did. 65% complete. Wow, really? Oh, let's see what you get. What a shame. No weapon blueprint this time. Uh, well, there you go. At least that was actually some benefit. So yeah, this has actually been the um, prologue of Raiders of the Broken Planet. Uh, no rewards like this one because he disappeared. That's why. But yeah, uh, that was kind of like, it's kind of fun to actually play. It's a third person objective based co op adventure. Like I said, it feels very very Battlebornish. Um, the characters that you have to play with at the beginning are limited to like three or four characters. The whole point is that you have to pay to unlock, and it doesn't seem to be like that big of a character roster to start with. Or even that many levels. Meanwhile, Battleborn did release with a full campaign. Uh, meanwhile, this you actually pay per campaign, then per character on top of that. I don't know how much this is going to get people's attention, but um, it's fun to play. I'll admit that. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't spend the gold unless you buy a campaign. Wow. Okay. So you can't even even the gold that you'd earn from playing the prologue you can't spend until after. And you have to complete. So you have to complete this as well before you can play as an antagonist. All right, jeez. Um, I was going to actually throw an antagonist on there to actually check it out to see what what to give you guys a more context, but no, no, that's a. This has been Raiders of the Broken Planet. And let's get ourselves back to the main screen there. Uh, League of Antagonists. I always like. I like that. Actually. I like the League of Antagonists. The list of people who've actually been playing it already and actually have got antagonist points, and then of course Raiders. 
the players you can play as. Uh, there's the adventure settings and then quick guide. So it's kind of giving you a front look of all the menu screens that are all available on it. But uh, yeah, Raiders of the Lost Planet. Fun and off game. I uh, just I think it's very very light on content. And if they intended to actually make it a lot bigger, that'd be fine. But whenever you make it this light on content, a little of the difficulty level is quite high. If you make it right on this content, then people may not actually spend even the six or seven bucks to actually get the first uh, expansion, I suppose, the first campaign portion that you want to play through. But yeah, it's not too bad of a game. Uh, mechanically, it's fun. I like the um, I like the individual raiders. I actually like the designs of them, even if I don't really like the skills and the activations of them. Uh, the hand-to-hand -hand combat feels janky because it's a rock paper scissors kind of thing. Um, especially with the character, the character I chose, is she seemed really awful unless you're super close range. And if you're super close range, you yeah, kind of already want to be using a hand to hand because you're like you're not going to be able to take out three or four guys all at once like that. You have, like, you want to be picking people off one after another because you never feel strong enough to actually take on large groups. Um, although admittedly it matters on the character, like that guy playing Constantine was actually not doing too bad, keeping him alive, himself alive against two or three of those guys who I got wanted the first time I ran into them. But yeah, uh, Raiders of the Lost Planet, uh, or Raiders of the Lost Planet, Raiders of the Broken Planet is now available as a prologue you can pull down from the PlayStation Network store yourself to try it out. And if you want to play it with me, make sure to have a comment underneath the video and we'll actually maybe jump into a campaign together. Play it on one of my multiplayer stream days where we can actually all join together in harmony and kill some shit. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. If you happen to enjoy me playing three Raiders of Broken Planet, you enjoy watching the stuff that I do here in the channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button, or the follow button, or the bell, or whatever the fuck it is, like, actually in this particular case, the, whatever source it is that you're finding to watch this on. And uh, if you do that, thumbs up. And if you don't do that, it's okay too. Uh, it doesn't really matter, as long as you remember the name, uh, Seize Your Skin. It's been right here in front of you the entire time. Just search for it whenever you actually want to see some video entertainment on the YouTubes. I would really appreciate it, and uh, it would actually always help me. Help me help you. Help me make good stuff for you. Tell me what you want to see. Because if you do, then you probably might actually see it. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, the button up there, I really wish you would hit. Uh, there is a playlist right here. Over the far side, there will be a most recent video on the channel. And right here will actually be a video just for you. Based on the user analytics and the things they do on YouTube to track your movements. Make sure they know where you are, like Big Brother always does. They will actually pick a video based on my uh, my channel and stuff that I do. And it'll be something that you will probably already enjoy. So I highly recommend checking that one out. It's a pretty good video. So uh, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.